Hey all this is Dave with the Georgia Photographer and today I've come downtown we're actually in Rossville Georgia which is right across the state line and I've linked up with Tim Childers What's your channel called? Well, it's just Tim Children Photography. Tim Children, I yeah. couldn't remember for sure if you yeah. had a some kind of coy name no, like, no. like Phil Thatch. <laughs> <laughs> but we've linked up. They're going to just do some just general photography in Rossville and see what's out here. And he's experimenting with a camera setup he's about to do some projects with. And I'm just taking pictures. But yeah, we've came to Rossville because we haven't done it yet. And it's just somewhere different. And back what a hundred years ago probably this was a separate town and there was probably you know lack of people between here and chattanooga but now it's grown so big if you didn't really know it you would think it was just a suburb of chattanooga so we're just what about maybe five miles from downtown yeah yeah we're not far so that's what i wanted to intro with to let y'all guys in on what, what's happening so let's go find some stuff interesting that Love Familiar restaurant used to be known as Cheryl's TV back in the day and it was a legit TV repair shop. And I actually knew people that worked there. I don't know how long the TV repair shop's been gone, but probably better part of 20 years. It's interesting to just come down here and see this stuff. It's just like the things that have changed and the things that are still the same. This is something I always like to ask people that do a YouTube channel. What got you into doing a channel of your own? Well, yeah, I, I just do it for fun. Uh, I, I wanted to learn how to shoot some video um, along with the pictures. I needed a platform. That seemed to be good. Um, I was inspired by people like Thomas Heaton, mm -hmm. Peter McKinnon, other people. I will never do video like that, but, <laughs> uh, you know, but, but it, it, it's a goal. So I, I'm just having a lot of fun. Yeah. That's awesome, because I always want to get kind of in the head, because like I was saying earlier, we were just chatting a little bit where I had messed up and failed to get this on video, <laughs> about how Phil Thatch is like a machine. He's cranking out three videos a week, and I did it for a month last year, and it's a lot of work to yeah. do three videos a week. And man, he's just like there, and there, and there, and man, it, it's a big job, and you gotta want to do it. You can't, and he has a full-time job aside from YouTube, so. <laughs> I know he's a, he's a busy man and it's just amazing to me that he can maintain that head of steam. Yeah. It's just, it, you have to be driven to do it. The sidewalk is right on the side of Highway 27, literally like four feet away. And these semis have been just blowing by us the whole time. Woo! It's getting kind of sporty. Fun fact, JP's Pawn Shop same name. Uh, you, I think it used to be JR's Pawn Shop. I don't really remember. This is where I bought my first SLR camera. It was a film camera. It was a Yashica, like, Y103 program or something, some kind of 103. But I bought it out of this Pawn Shop. I bought my very first SLR from JR's Pawn Shop. Now it's JP's. But that building's where it was at, yeah. It's interesting that they're still here. Remember I told you some stuff doesn't change while some stuff does. The familiar Mexican restaurant used to be Cheryl's TV. Now Boss Van is still Boss Van. It's been Boss Van all my life. They've customized um, like conversion vans there and sold stuff for it. come down Rossville Boulevard. I'm technically in Tennessee now. Let's see. He can't show you because there's a tree. Let me get over here. Turn it around. That sign is the Tennessee state line. So now we're officially back in Tennessee. That's how hard it is to cross back and forth when you live at the border. 
What you have here is another history lesson in ancient construction techniques. If you'll look, you'll see little slots along the wall right through there. Those are where the floor joists typically would have went for the second floor. And then you have right here and right here are uh, chimneys left over from the building that is no longer here, where this grassy lot is now. Used to be another brick building and that's all that's left of the original chimneys. And they took the tops down, then went on up and they've knocked them off because they don't need them anymore. And you can see they've capped them. It actually looks like they've hooked this one back here in the back up and they're actually using it. But yeah, that's kind of interesting just to see the old architecture and the leftover remnants of a building that used to be there. It's not something you see every day. All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go across the street because there's an icon in Rossville that everyone needs to know about. And unfortunately, they're not open today because Tim just looked. We was gonna, I was gonna throw down some lunch here, but like he said, they're not closed. They're not open till tomorrow. And it's B's Restaurant. Sign's a little faded on this side. I guess the sun hits it more. Let's see. Yeah, there you go. This restaurant is, uh, you get over here in the shade, get some of this light correction. See if you can see through the window. No, uh, they got all the shades drawn down. All right, it's got a, like an airlock out here and then the restaurant's inside. But they have these round circular Lazy Susan tables and they put all, the, they have the same food every day. And uh, there's no menu, you just eat the buffet that's on the little table and they just constantly keep the dishes of food full. They have like little stewed potatoes and pinto beans and like uh, some kind of fried chicken and just, and it's the same menu and it has been since 1950, if I read the sign right. And it's delicious. If you've, if you've lived in Chattanooga all your life and you haven't been to Bees yet, you need to fix that. Well, we've been walking for a long way down Rossville Boulevard. I've took pictures of all sorts of buildings. People that own the stores and they catch you, they want to come out and like question you with great suspicion as to what you're doing. A couple of guys wandering around with cameras. <laughs> Pretty sure they think we're tax collectors doing photos for that or something because they're, they're super suspicious. It's, kind of, it's almost comical. But yeah, it's happened, what, twice today twice, already? Yeah. <laughs> well, as fate would have it, we found a wonderful little taqueria on the side of Rossville Boulevard. We ate lunch there. It was wonderful. I took literally zero photos and zero video. We were so hungry and so hot that all I had on my mind was drinking cold water and eating a couple of tacos. <sighs> Sorry, no pictures of the lunch place. I'll do better next time. You meet all kinds of interesting people. Earlier I was talking about the super suspicious business owners. And then this lady just basically, she was cutting up to start with. And she said, take my picture. So I went over there and offered and she said, she told me, she said, she was joking. Look at this, Tim. Oh, look, it gets better. Fasteners all in the parking lots. That just tells me that the one we parked in probably ain't safe either. <laughs> oh, here, perfect place to put these. So I went over and took a knee and got down on her level where she's sitting and took her photo. And this is her photo. But she was super friendly, real nice lady. I don't know, I don't know her backstory. I don't even know her name. But people are awesome. You just gotta talk to them. And I think Tim was talking about coming out of his shell just a minute ago. <laughs> it's just interacting with the people around you best you can. I'll leave people alone, that's my normal mode. But if they reach out to me, I'll straight interact with them. So, there's your uh, tidbit of positive reinforcement.
we just got our third inquisition as to what we're out here doing with these cameras taking pictures. I might have to come up with a better line than we're actually just street photographers because that blows them off way too soon. I need something that generates more interaction. Like we're, we're secretly working for the FBI undercover and we provide our photos through Facebook to the NSA. There you go. <laughs> All right, we're back to the car. Finally, what, 40,000 steps later, 18 miles. Honestly, it's yeah. what, about five miles, seriously. It's been pretty close, yeah. But it's been a lot of fun. It's been a great time. Yeah, if you don't get the opportunity to go out and shoot with somebody, it's only because you didn't check or try or find a way or try in any way, shape or form to find somebody to go with because there's always somebody willing to get out and go take a picture with you. So until next time, this is David, the Georgia photographer and Tim Childers saying, get your camera out and go take a picture with it. All right, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.